Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my part two about my Gryffindor carry-on suitcase. For those of you who didn't see part one, this is a piece of luggage that is sold by Pottery Barn. My husband bought it for my birthday last year and he paid $199.50 for this one piece of luggage. That is before any taxes and shipping cost. And I checked this morning before I filmed this video, and I believe this suitcase are now charging about $50 more for it, again, before taxes and any shipping costs. When I made part one, I had not yet traveled with this piece of luggage, so I could not give a full review. However, now I have taken this on vacation, so I'm back to share more about how I feel about this, and it's very high price. First, some disappointing news. One thing I talked about in part one was that I wanted to try this out and see if it fits in the overhead bins on an airplane. I was not able to try that out. I was traveling during spring break. I took four flights total, two to my destination and then two home. And for each flight, the planes were packed and there was very limited overhead space and they were asking people in you know, the economy sections to just go ahead and check their baggage. So I can't speak as to how this would have fit. I wasn't given that opportunity, but instead I can speak as to how it handled being checked. And overall, I am pleasantly surprised that this bag survived being checked. There are no cracks in the maroon plastic covering. It also stayed closed, no problem. The zippers and fabric held up well. Cosmetically though, cosmetically it did suffer on its journey. The shiny plastic, so the maroon areas as well as the Gryffindor logo, they are pretty scratched up throughout, which I predicted based off how shiny this material is. The worst part is this corner right here. It's quite scuffed up. There's white scuff marks as well as this corner here. The maroon material has completely chipped away, leaving um, the shell underneath exposed. So that's a huge bummer to see. And then a lot of the corners and like the bumpers, those are quite scuffed up as well. Though, I'm pleasantly surprised that these faux leather accents, they held up very well. They're all still intact and none of them suffered any severe scuffs or any tears. Even though the plethora of scuffs and scratches are disappointing, I'm overall happy with how this bag held up. I can definitely use it again and it still shows off my Hogwarts house very well. You know, the, the design is still intact and readable. I do feel though, for a bag that cost over $200, someone should have thought to have made the maroon shell out of a textured plastic that would hold up much better to scuffs and scratches. Of course, you can't expect a piece of luggage that you're going to use and travel with. You can't expect it to stay pristine, but a textured plastic, much like what the corners are made of, would have helped this bag hold up better. I certainly will continue to travel with this bag as its functionality, it's holding up very well. Just cosmetically, I know after a couple more trips, it's not going to look very good. I hope this helps answer some questions on if this Harry Potter suitcase is worth getting or not. I am very happy that I got the experience of having a trunk to take with me when I visited Universal Studios. It was like taking a Hogwarts trunk to visit Hogwarts. Um, but at the end of the day, as much as I love it, I personally wouldn't recommend buying it just based on the cost. If you got a piece of luggage that was maybe a quarter of the cost, you could use the money you saved to buy a Hogwarts robe at Universal, for example. So just got to kind of pick and choose what is important to you. Um, but if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to try to answer them in any way that I can. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of our future vlogs or hotel room tours. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.